Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is part three of uh, designing and creating a, a, a CO2 dragster vehicle. All right, so we've already uh, drawn the blueprints. You've already, that was in part one, and we've traced the outline of our vehicle. That was all that was in part one. Then for part two, we used our drill press and uh, we drilled our axle holes. So that's done. We, so we'll have nice straight axles that'll go straight through the vehicle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the sides. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my blade guard on my temper on my uh, on my bandsaw. Obviously, just like I showed you before, you want your a blade guard to be about well less than a half inch about an eighth of an inch or so above your material because again it, it provides you with that stability in your vehicle and as well as safety for just in case you hit your hands up against it or anything like that all right so once I've adjusted my blade guard I've already checked my equipment to make sure we're safe I'm gonna plug it up all right so you see my light came on it gives me a little bit of perspective but for you, I'm going to turn the light off because we have enough ambient light here in the shop area. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I've already planned out what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut a straight line here, cut that off, cut there, and I'm going to cut around here, but I'm going to use some relief cuts, just like I've taught you in class, to cut around here. Um, I'm going to cut this part off, and then I'm going to use relief cuts to cut this top area. All right. So, let's get cutting. Obviously, just whenever you're using your timber cutter, you do want to make sure that it's up to full speed before you start cutting. All right? Now again, remember, as I told you in, in the videos before, I am not trying to cut along my line, okay? The reason I'm not trying to cut along my line is specifically because um, I can stand down to my lines, okay? Till it completely stops and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing for the top okay and again all I'm doing here is I'm, is I'm focusing on taking off the big chunks and then we'll sand everything down to get to the actual shape okay 
bottom chunk off right there. Alright, side view done. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, I'm going to trace that top view uh, that we did in step number one. We're going to take that same process, we're going to uh, match up the blueprint over top, right? We'll trace it and then we'll come back, knock it out with the bandsaw, all right?